Welcome back to Ferocious City Cation. This is Anthony. I'm going to be talking about NAK. So this is going to be my update from my last video. You'll find my previous video in the description below if you'd like to watch that one after this one here. I'm going to go through technical analysis, latest news, and then what I think about the stock's future. So we're going to move forward with, uh, for instance, here we see on the MACD, you get to see a negative MACD going on, continuing in. Uh, before we move forward, please make sure to drop a like to this video to help this channel grow and subscribe and leave your notifications on. So let's get back to it. So you get to see an MACD on the one month, one day perspective declining here. Of course, this is based on the news. I'll, I'll, I will mention it in a little. The ADX does uh, show a little bit of a slow in the downtrend that has been seen before with the massive uh, drop. On the William percent R, the stock is oversold and momentum here seems to be quite sloppy back to almost 7th of August. On the moving averages, the stock price is under the 200 SMA, which, is, which makes it bearish. It is under the 50 SMA in purple, which makes it bearish, and the 30 EMA in red is now above the green, which is also bearish. 30 EMA is above 10 SMA. Now, moving on towards the one hour perspective, we get to see something uh, basically almost the exact same thing we, said, we saw in the one day in terms of the moving averages. Uh, price is under the 200 SMA, under the 50 SMA, and 30 EMA is above 10 SMA, and the stock is below the trade, trading action zone where reversals are likely. Now, we get to see on the ADX here. Uh, it shows in a very strong negative trend, um, although that trend could easily see a reversal since it's hitting around 65.54. Uh, now, from the levels that it has seen, it has dropped quite a bit. Um, I would say almost around 70%. You're seeing somewhere from $1.60 down to $0.60. Cents. Uh, that is quite a significant drop. Now, on the other side, we get to see on the billion percent R, it's oversold here. But the MACD seems to be trying to go on towards the negative side, uh, although it's a very slow kind of movement. Unbalanced volume has dropped significantly, and we'll check that in a second here. You get to see on the one month one day, or even on the three months one day, uh, the unbalanced volume has dropped quite significantly, quite rapidly. You get to see volume has picked up for the wrong reasons around here. On the moving average band, which I don't expect that the price would reach there in the next two days or so, Price is expected to trade between 132 and 165, uh, although I don't see a chance of this happening sometime, let's say tomorrow. Going on towards where trend lines are, stock has broken through that trend line, and the, thus the current trend line sits down to be on the same kind of level that it was on before. Uh, a very, very small up climb of around 33% from its lows. On Fibonacci retracement, we get to see here something uh, where resistance would be met around 86 cents. For the sake of it, I'm going to put 160% as a 249. And we get to see that, oops, that did not actually work in my favor. So basically, we get to see here that there is different resistances and different support levels. Uh, of course, it did dip quite below uh, where we we're expecting it to trade around. Um, the current resistance is six, uh, 67 cents, 86 and the dollar 02 seems to be other resistances on Fibonacci retracement. Now significant supports and resistances, there was a significant support at the 63 cents but it was broken below that. Now the next significant support would be the 54 uh, to 55 cents. Uh, below that we're seeing around the 51 cents, 49 cents and then we're seeing down to the 44 cents and then to the 40 cents. Significant resistances would currently would be uh, the 63 cents, and then above that is 75 cents. Above that, we're seeing the 88 cents, uh, and above that, we're seeing 896 and a dollar 11. So there is a lot of room to grow for this one. Although I'm going to discuss here right now why the stock price has dropped significantly. So first things first, uh, the USACE letter on wetlands part of the normal permitting process. Um, and we do see a lot of different articles on that. So this one is actually the one that I'm mentioning right now. Uh, demands wetland improvements for the Alaska Pebble Mine. Um, and it does basically mention um, different environmental impacts on it. But they're still proceeding with the ROD and says in, in, in the form that uh, the, in the filing for this company it said, the letter does not ask for a delay or a pause in the permitting process. In fact, it clearly states that the USACE is continuing 
it's working towards a record of decision for the project. This is the next step in what has been a comprehensive, uh, exhaustive two and a half years review of the project. Nothing in the letter surprises us or them. And so it does not indicate, does not ask for more or additional uh, mitigation. And so I do work in that kind of field in civil engineering. And from my understanding and from a lot of different uh, stories I hear, such minds do take a bit of a process. And there's always kind of a back and forth on that kind of process. It's not very much like a pharma where you get your uh, FDA approval and that's it. It becomes in more of, all right, well, how much you're spending? What's the kind of environmental impact? And they try to milk as much as they can on both sides. So there's another as well, filing. Uh, there's a lot of news coverage. So I'm just going to go through news cover coverage and then the company's filing. Um, there is a basically a letter set saying that uh, Trump's government is most likely going to be blocking this pebble mine. Uh, pebble mine and one of the most controversial development proposals in Alaska failed to pass U.S. Uh, security uh, by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and qualify for a permit under the Clean Water Act. Uh, that was sent, put out yesterday. Um, basically, a lot more things related as well to a lot of news relating to this one. Salmons uh, is one and basic impact on environment. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. as well has uh, put in a tweet about it. Uh, basically uh, showing in opposing of the pebble mine. That is as well something that they put on there. Uh, the president did say that he would listen to both sides. Um, and basically here, one of the other things that I was just mentioning on August 22nd, Politico reported the Trump administration is planning to block the proposed pebble mine in Alaska early next week. Uh, making a surprise reversal that could be the death knell of the massive copper and gold project. Now, going on, they did have a filing saying um, somewhere around... So the, uh, the campaign message the current federal administration has made tremendous progress restoring objective uh, objectivity certain uh, timeliness and science-based decision making to process permitting now is not the time to return to obama era solicitation of regulatory review for major project development uh, now the biggest thing on this one here is as i said it's more it's more probably going to be turning to um kind of lobbying they did say as well that the political report that Trump administration will block the pebble mine is incorrect. That was also put out yesterday. So it becomes in where a part of political says um, nothing is confirmed. Basically, it's more of uh, reports and uh, things that news have heard and investigation journalism at this point. Another one, new pebble mine resources estimate, uh, estimates increases U.S. strategic uranium source by 84%. Now, what is the next thing that we're anticipating? Now, before we do that, we're going to quickly go on through institutional ownership just to try to determine on what, what does institution feel, right? Oh, I can't see on this one here, but they still have two point, almost 2 million shares. Uh, M Holdings decreased their shares. Um, the latest increase of shares I see on the 18th. Um, I wonder if BlackRock has this here. Um don't see BlackRock on this one I might be blind uh, but no recent purchases from BlackRock but I do see names uh, okay so BlackRock is not here use control but you get to see still see names that are significant I believe I just saw Morgan Stanley somewhere here yep Morgan Stanley although there's a little bit more uh, sorry a little bit less kind of shares Royal Bank of Canada decreased their amount of shares here uh, but we get to still see that there is institutional interest on this one. Moving on to what I think about the stock and how it would trade. Now, it is significantly on a lower bottom. And probably what's going to happen is it will probably bleed for another day or two before it finds another support. Um, I do expect that we might actually hear a little bit more after it's, after the Republican convention, so at the end of the week. Probably Trump is going to be asked about this one here, and he's going to basically paddle forward and back, uh, giving a little bit of an assurance of uh, NAK Pebble Mine. Um, and there's probably going to be a lot of lobbying from that. Firms like this, when they're going on with massive projects, there is a lot of lobbying. 
Uh, my expectation is that next week we probably would see an increase on this one, but probably bleed and trade sideways for a little before it sees a massive jump. Well, let's see back the levels that it has seen around $1.53. I do expect probably in a month or two, it, there is a high possibility it does reach there. But it's all related to politics right now. And if you're still considering buying, you want to consider a little bit of a stage where uh, the stock price might be a little bit more stable on that level. What do you think about this sticker? Make sure you mention down in the comments below. Share, subscribe, and like, and you have a wonderful day.